Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. Well, actually, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I am going to experiment and see just how big of a bow I can make with this massive piece of ribbon. And what I did, I took two pieces of that three inch ribbon, which is pretty wide in itself, and I fused the two together to form one piece, and this measures right at six inches in width. Look at all of this ribbon. Look at it. All right, this is 62 inches of six inch ribbon. <laughs> so we are going to make one massively huge, is that even a word, massively huge? If not, we're going to make it a word. Hair bow, look at this. All this ribbon. I love these two prints. They would be awesome for cheer bows. All right, I'm gonna attempt two different styles. I'm gonna attempt a cheer style bow and then we're gonna do a twisted boutique bow and we are going to see how big we can go. Like I said, I just took two pieces of three inch ribbon and I fused them together. You can use heat and bond or your fabric fusion, um, but I just line them up edge to edge and fuse the two pieces together to form one big piece of ribbon. And that is what we have here. Now I'm just gonna come along the edge. Of course, you still wanna heat seal, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I don't even think my table is big enough for this ribbon. This is crazy. I'm trying to move some things around. Like I said, 62 inches of ribbon right here, 62 inches, so it's going to be quite difficult to work with. All right, let's try the Twisted Boutique Bow first. Okay, I think I can do this. I think I'm gonna start with the star print up. So let me go ahead and heat seal this other end, which I'll probably be trimming most of this and doing it again, but we're just experimenting today having some fun. All right, so I'm going to attempt to fold. I'm gonna hand fold this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this. I can't even fold it. All right, let me see if I can get one loop. All right, here we go. There is a massive <laughs> loop, look at that. Okay, um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be tricky holding this and then coming back over here because I've got so much ribbon. Look, this, oh my goodness, it does not look as big as it is, but it's actually huge. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm trying to measure them up because it's so big and it's hard to hold. All right, so there's the loops on the top. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me, let me attempt this again. All right, take two. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can fold this this big old piece of ribbon. All right, there's one. <laughs> this is hanging off the table, you guys. So it's so hard to fold. All right, and let's see. Do they look even? There we go, we got two. I'm going to have to pull this long piece up and see if I can get three and four. Okay, come on, work with me. Work with me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, fail. They say third time's a charm. All right, let's try this again. It's just a lot of ribbon. All right, we got two. I need something to hold it. I need like an extra hand. I think we need to come with extra hands. Okay, go under. There we go. Okay. Let me see if I can get the fourth. Ah, come on. Okay. Okay, we got four loops. <laughs> Let me twist this bad boy around. Okay, now I'm going to attempt the crease. This is so crazy. Look at this. It's like a book. I promise you, it's bigger than a book. All right, let's see how many creases I can manage to get. There's one, two, 
three. This is a huge crease. All right, but I creased it. Now I'm gonna reinforce it with my thread and then we'll shape it up. All right, this one is just tricky. I'm not gonna be able to really make all of the loops as loopy as a twisted boutique bow should be. So it basically looks like a simple boutique style bow. And I did try to come up here and twist the loops. I think if I would have used a little more length, we would have been able to bring these out a little bit more. All right, let's measure this though. I'm gonna go from corner to corner and it's look, you guys, seriously, it is 11 inches. 11 inches, almost 12 inches. <laughs> this is huge. I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like on Kennedy's little head in a minute, but let's attempt that cheer style bow. Here is the cheer style bow, and you could probably trim up the tails. They're a little bit long, but for reference, 62 inches of six inch wide ribbon will make a bow that measures, let's see, wow, this one's gonna be about 14 inches wide, you guys. Look, the ruler stops right there. So if you are a cheerleader and you wanna make a grand entrance, here you go, here you go, guaranteed to be noticed. So yeah, I'm thinking about 14 inches. This one's gonna be about 14 inches wide. Look at that, oh my goodness. And yeah, the tails could probably be trimmed. Who wants to wear this? Tell me, who wants to wear this big bow? All right, last but not least, I decided to make a gigantic pinwheel and I literally had to use a big book as my template and actually this book was not big enough. So here is what 62 inches will make as far as a pinwheel goes. Let's measure up and why do I always do that? Okay, this is 11 inches across. So we got an 11 inch wide pinwheel. I'm gonna actually put this one on a clip and let Kennedy put it in her hair. And it was hard trimming up the ends for this one. And as you can see, my loops are wanting a bubble. But yeah, that is what 62 inches of six inch ribbon will make as far as a pinwheel goes, 11 inches wide. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. As you can see, I was just having a little bit of fun here in the craft room with my big ribbon. I wanna see how big I can go as far as bow widths go. And I think I made some pretty big bows today. Kennedy would, would tell you that I did because they are bigger than her head. Um, but I wanna go even bigger. So if you have any ideas of like widths of ribbon or fabrics or anything that I can use to make an even bigger bow, leave a comment down below and I will try it. I will try anything at least once. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun today and I will see you in the next video.